Yeah, picture na saan niyo naman sa pictures niyo. <laughs> so, most of you, do you have your DSLRs with you? Yeah. Yes. Okay, some of you already know me and have seen me here. So, I see some students of mine. Ayan, so, next, iba mo? Okay, so, of course, DSLR, what does that mean? Doon muna tayo mag-start. Any volunteers? DSLR. Okay, as you can see, it's already there. Yeah, so digital single lens reflex. So there are two types of digital cameras. This is the, the other one, digital single lens reflex, which will, we will be tackling just uh, a brief part of it. So we do not have the time to discuss each and every part of the camera as well as uh, how to use it. Okay, you cannot be an expert overnight, not even in a few hours, right? So later you'll be having your photo walk and I'll be giving you the details later. Okay, so digital single lens reflex is one kind. The other one is the digital uh, range finder. And then this is what digital single lens reflex is all about. So the DSLR camera is named for the reflexing mirror that allows you to frame the image through the lens prior to capturing the image. So when you take the lens off your camera, what do you see there? A mirror. Yes, there is a mirror inside when you take your lens off. So that is a reflexing mirror. It moves, right? So it enables you to view your subject. As you can see, when you look at the viewfinder, you will see there, um, like this. For example, you are taking a picture of this, right? Uh, the guy in checker taking a picture. What do you see? Of course, this, right? So the mirror helps you to see when you view the viewfinder, okay? And then, once you click on the, what do you call that? Button? Princess? Okay, when you click on that, the mirror, what? Reflexes, okay? So, you can capture the image. Understood? Entiendes? Yes, sir. See, okay. Next. Okay, one more. Okay, let's tackle some points. We'll be discussing, like I said, we cannot tackle everything, so we'll be discussing the aperture, f-stop, focal length, depth of field, shutter, shutter speed. Uh, do you have any idea what these are? Yes. What are these concepts? Anyways, yeah, I'll try to help you. We'll figure this out together. Okay, next please. Okay, while waiting for that, uh, if you have questions, uh, you may ask me after I do the talk, okay? Just write them down, and then don't be afraid, I don't bite. Okay, the aperture. The aperture is the opening in the lens created by an adjustable iris or diaphragm that allows light to pass through. So, you'll see in the lens that there is a mechanism there that can be closed or open, right? So that allows light to pass through. That is the aperture. Next one. Okay, the f-stop. F-stop, stop. <laughs> okay, the photographer adjusts the opening of the aperture by setting the f-stop. An f-stop is a ratio of the focal length of the lens to the diameter of the opening of the aperture. Usually you'll see in your um, screens there, these digits, right? These numbers and alphanumeric F2, F2.8. So that is uh, how we measure F stop. Okay, next one. Okay, there. We have the focal length. So an important attribute of a lens besides the quality is its focal length. Focal length is technically defined as the distance from the part of the optical path where the light rays converge to the point where the light rays passing through the lens are focused onto the image plane. So that's a bit heavy, right? So basically, focal length is the distance. Usually you see... What is that, princess, if you remember what a focal length is? Uh, any, anywho. It's <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, FDA. She used to attend my classes too, Miss Lay. Okay, anyways, from a practical point of view, focal length can be uh, thought of as the amount of magnification of the lens. What do you mean when you say magnification? 